Hello love, thank you for spending your time with me today. My name is Sarah and on this channel, I walk you through exploring different strategies for sourcing to resell on websites such as Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Kittison. Now lately I have been on a thread up kick. I explored thread up for the first time and I started with a 200 pound mixed clothing women's bulk lot that came in four different boxes. I am on my third box today that I'm gonna be unboxing. I've already went through boxes one and two. Box one, eh, not so good. Box two is definitely a little bit better. I did get some brand names in that box. As I went to go list, I realized a lot of this stuff, a lot of the designer stuff I was getting excited about had holes, had stains and different things. So it wasn't quite as exciting as I thought. However, there were some things that came about it. This sweatshirt is actually a Free City, which is a new brand to me. It came in my last box. It is up right now for over $100. So it's kind of um, a street brand that I researched and learned a little bit about. So that's one thing why, one reason why I like doing these different sourcing strategies, different boxes, because I'm learning all kinds of different brands I've never ever heard of before. If you see any brands in this next unboxing that you know about, please leave it in the comments below. It's very helpful to all of us to explore and learn together. That's one reason why I love this community so much. So with that said, let's go ahead and unbox the third box. Altogether, all four boxes, it was $426, which brings me to $106.50 per box. Now in the first box I had, I wanna say 99 pieces because there was a lot of small pieces. In the second box there was 76 pieces because there were several bulky coats and sweaters and different things in that. So we'll see how many items we get here. At the end of the video I will definitely count up how many items I have and of course the cost of goods. So here we go, I'm gonna open her up. By the way, these boxes were lost in transit with FedEx for over a week. They were absolutely destroyed when I eventually received them. Luckily, it didn't seem like there was water damage or damage of any type, but I wouldn't doubt that this one had something because the box was basically completely broken open by the time I got it. So I'll be definitely checking that as I go through. Very first piece here is the Limited. The skirt, more shiny material. This I am going to put in my research and then list pile. If it doesn't come up with anything as I'm researching, that's definitely going to go to buy, sell, trade. This is LuLaRoe and it feels so, so cheap. That is going in my buy, sell, trade pile. This is LA Hearts, which I think might be a TJ Maxx brand. It's like a lightweight sweater. That I'm going to research. This one is Mono Rio, I believe is what that says there. Just the tag alone doesn't seem like it's anything crazy, but I don't know that brand. I'm gonna research, maybe it's Anthropology. Kind of gives me that vibe. This one is Diamonds, it's a skirt. Okay, it's more like a, um, a cover-up skirt. I can't think of the name of that right now. This is wrong. That's cute. I am going on a girl's trip soon. That might be coming with me. This is Tomboy X. They are just athletic shorts. That's going in my research pile. This is Thalia Sodi. This I am putting in my buy, sell, trade pile. Forever 21, it's a cold shoulder ribbed sweater that's going in my buy sell trade this is petite sophisticate looks vintage to me 
It's got shoulder pads, just a blazer. That's gonna go in my research pile. These are unbranded zero petite pinstripe dress pants. These are going in my bicell trade pile. This Mummian Sanyu. You can see that there. Looks like a crap top. That is going to be in my research, but I just have a feeling it's gonna end up in my buy sell trade pile. If I can't sell it for $20, I'm just, that's what I'm putting in my buy sell trade pile. Just get it out and so that I can reinvest the money. This is Cynthia Steff. Steph. Never heard of it. Um, it was dry cleaned, so anytime I see something that's dry cleaned, that gives me kind of an idea that it's at least a mid-tier brand. So I'm gonna definitely research that. It's a skirt, or a dress rather. Red, white, and blue would be good for the 4th of July party. This is a new day. A work blouse polka dot. Nothing too crazy there. A new day. Sometimes I'll keep, sometimes on not so much. Depends on the item. For now, that's going in my list pile. But as I go to actually list, it might end up in my buy sell trade pile. Alright. This has no size tag, no brand that I can see. That is going in my buy sell trade. The thing with Thread Up is they get a lot of items that have no style, no brand, no size tag, and they don't take that at all. So that's what ends up in these boxes. Sometimes I can be like, okay, it's near my size, then I'll take measurements. Sometimes if it's not my size at all, it's more difficult for me at least to gauge what size to even put it at. I know that there's plenty of size charts out there, but every brand is so different. It could just be me being lazy, which that's the reality of things. I would rather spend my time investing in different items that I know I can make an investment in than trying to research something that doesn't seem like it's that much of a brand I can just take to the buy sell trade and move on in life. I know I've probably passed up on plenty of things. I'm just being honest here. This is a cold shoulder sweater. It's got some like fringy detail there. This has no size tag, no style, no materials tag. Oh, it does have a tag. Let's see what it says. It says made in China. Okay, size small. And it actually looked like it. this could be Amazon when it has that like just small tag with just the size on it. That might be Amazon. This, now that I know the size, I will probably look into listing it. I'll probably look on Google Google Lens to see if anything comes up. Might end up going to buy sell trade though. This is kind of a asymmetric shirt. It's just a basic t-shirt. Seems in good condition that's going to buy sell trade. Acceleration. Acceleration is target. Uh, oh, it's kind of cute. It's a maxi dress. It goes all the way down. It's hard to tell, but it does slip there. It is a size small. That I might look into listing myself. Craft and borrow. A purple, it's actually a button down. It's just not buttoned up. That's going to Style Encore, I believe. This one is Zara. It is, it seems like it's more of a mini length. 
then maxi three fourth sleeve dress that's going in my list pile no boundaries this will probably go to Plato's Closet. It's kind of interesting. Plato's Closet takes more cheaper brands, at least the one by me. It's more geared towards juniors. A lot of times when I go in there to take stuff in, I, you know, look around and then I'm like, wow, they really take this kind of stuff and people buy this kind of stuff. This is Jones, New York. To work blouse. This one is going to Style and Core. This has the tag. Apana. Ooh, it might be hard to tell. It's so tiny in there, but it was $38. That's the brand there. It is a workout top, it looks like. Oh, it's TJ Maxx. That's interesting. I don't know why somebody wouldn't just take this tag off. They cut the price out of that. <laughs> So when I list it, that's definitely coming off. It's like a turtleneck. This is Desequil. It's like a knit um, oversized cardigan. That is going to buy, sell, trade. Very cheap store to begin with. So the resale value, probably not so much. These are Express Design Studio. These are size four, they're pinstriped dress pants. That's gonna go in my list pile. Those will probably go for $15, but they'll go quickly. Number 21, it is a skirt. What is going on here? Oh. Okay, so it's another like cover-up skirt. That's going to buy sell trade. It is White House Black Market. A cardigan. That I'm gonna look up to list. This is very interesting. I'm kind of confused because it twists there a little bit. Okay, I think I got it figured out. That goes on the inside. And then there we go. It is Jockey, a workout tank. That is has probably going to buy so trade. This one is all in motion. It feels high quality. I feel like I've heard of this brand before. I'm not 100% on it though. It's just a cozy shirt. This is J. Crew. It looks like an older tag to me. It's a knit sweater. Feels like it maybe shrunk. It's wool, so maybe. Gap. It's khaki shorts. Depending on the size. Size six, I'll probably keep those list. Banana Republic. Calais. I don't know what you call it. Cardigan, but it's not really sweater material. That I'm gonna see if I can find anything in Google Lens. I use Google Lens a lot. If nothing comes up, that'll go to buy, sell, trade. This is Cold Shoulder. Unbranded, no size tag. I'll see if I can take it to buy, sell, trade. This is Massimo. Blouse. Buy, sell, trade. This Had, Had Gizzy Studio. Feels very lightweight. I think this might be men's. A button down. Oh. I don't know. I'll research. This is Style & Co. Dress. Kind of cute. Might look it up, try list it. Florite is this one. Never heard of that one. I'll definitely research it a little bit here. But it is a dress. It's 
like a mustard colored dress with different designs on it. It's going in my list for now pile. This is ambiance apparel. This is probably going in my buy sell trade pile here. Just a basic flannel. This is old navy active. I'm thinking this I will research to list on my own. Time and true. This is probably buy sell trade. This is Spence. It's interesting. It has that 20 sticker there. I don't know if that means $20. Like somebody tried to sell it at a garage sale or something. I don't know. I'm looking that one up. This is Acceleration. It's a Target brand. A dress. It has that cool lime green zipper on it. It's kind of like a deeper, almost v-neck, but not quite. That one I will probably list on my own. This is Only Love Collection. Never heard of that one, so I'll show you that. It is a black blazer with shoulder plat pads. Seems to be in good condition. It is size 36. That I'm putting in my pile to research to potentially list on my own. This is a champion. Very lime green, just workout top. This is Poof, I've never heard of it, but it has like a metal tag there. So I'm definitely gonna look that up to see if that is a brand that's new to me. Typically when you see metal tags, it means, you know, it's an okay brand at least. It is a sweater, it's kind of like a cowl neck, turtleneck, um, very soft. So I'm definitely going to look that one up. This is it's like a spandex dress. The size tag was cut out. I was recently at Style Encore, which is a corporate buy, sell, trade store that is in my town. And they were telling me anything that has no size tag, they won't take automatically. And they suggested a local one to me. So I'm going to check that out. Um, the person at the cash wrap was saying, yeah, they're a reseller too, and they never take the stuff to their own store. They take it to this other store. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing with some of the stuff that has no size tag at all. This, I don't think will go for very much. It does feel kind of cheap. It's spandex, but I'll take it there just to see what happens. This is exhilaration. It's a cropped tie top. That one I will probably end up listing on my own. Um, I'm gonna look at the comps. I might end up taking it to Plato's Closet just because crop tops do pretty good at Plato's Closet. This is Good Luck Gem. Never heard of it, but I will look it up. It is a button down. Is it a button down? Yeah, it's a button down. It feels kind of higher quality. 100% cotton. It feels like it could be one of those random brands that just not a lot of people know about. So I'm going to research that one. This is Gap Fit. Just a workout top. I'll probably list that. Um, if comps are not that good, I'll probably end up keeping it because it's my size and I need a workout top. This is Kirkland. Their leggings. They're purple and black. I never realized Kirkland actually made clothes. I get a lot of um, party supplies over at Kirkland, if you will, that are pretty good, but I didn't realize that there were clothes, so that's pretty cool. That I put into my research pile. I can't imagine it would go for very much so after I research, if it, if it doesn't go for very much, it will end up going to buy, sell, trade. It did have a size tag. This is Anna. I feel like I've seen this before. Just a work blouse. Nothing too crazy there. This is Croft and Borrow. A sweater. 
definitely needs to be steamed. It's kind of meant to look like a layered look, like you have a button down underneath. It says IZ Ever California. Feels like a cheaper material. These I'm probably going to end up sending to the buy sell trade. These are Zara Man. So it looks like a men's piece just snuck its way in. They look like they can almost pass for women's. They're just basic black work pants. Those honestly just don't bring me joy. I am going to send those to Plato's Closet, see what happens. This is Champion. It says Power Shape Max. This is a sports bra. It is size 34D. Seems like it has pretty good support with it too. I'm going to probably look at listing that one on my own first before sending it to a buy sell trade. This is Style and Company. It's pretty heavy duty. A button down. It's like a suede type look. This has no size tag, no style, no brand, nothing. It feels like it could be about a small, oh, I see something. This little tag here. Mm, I feel like I got this in one of my other boxes, but I can't, mm, is it Fabletics maybe? But anyways, there's no size tag on it. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna end up doing with that one. This is Alfani. Basic work pants. Alfani is a Macy's brand. Doesn't usually go for very much but I'm going to see if I can list it anyways because I feel like I would get more from listing it on my own than if I were to buy, sell, trade for that at least. This is No Boundaries, a lounge shirt. Probably buy, sell, trade on that one. These are Ink International Concepts, brown work dress pants those i will probably steam up and look into listing for myself this is champion it's a lot of workout stuff right now one of you mentioned to me that right now is a good time for workout stuff so i'm kind of excited for all this stuff to get through and start listing right away I want to catch it before those New Year's resolutions kind of wear off. This is Banana Republic. It's a racerback shirt. That I think I'm going to send to buy, sell, trade rather than listing myself just because it's a kind of outdated style. This is Love by Design. That's a new brand to me. Just the tag makes me feel like it's not the most expensive but it is a super cozy cropped sweater. I'm going to look that one up. This is Vince Camuto. It's a peplum asymmetrical top. I will probably look that one up. I'm not sure what that's gonna go for. It might end up going to buy, sell, trade for me. This is Tease Me. actually kind of cute just a little black red dress it's got some detailing on the back the brand itself didn't seem like all that much it seems like one like a party brand but the dress I think the style will pull people in a lot of times I look at the brand itself but I'm starting to realize it's also important to look at the style, some of these exhilaration pieces, the exhilaration itself does not go for very much, but the, the pieces are kind of cute and people look at that sometimes more than the brand itself. So it's important to pay attention to that. This is Moon River. It is a sweater. It's got, okay, it's like a wrap, wrap sweater of some sort. You see that on the side, it wraps around 
that I'm going to look up. This is Under Armour. More workout gear. The size. Ooh, see the size tag was taken out of this one. So that kind of sucks. I will take measurements and try to compare it with the size chart on their website. But of course, I will mention that there's no size tag. This is Nasty Gal. It's the first time I am receiving it. It does have that like cutout detail in the front. That is the front there. I will look into listing that one on my own. This is also Nasty Gal. It has the tag on it. It's Freddie Mercury. So that I'm definitely going to list up, or look up to list rather. I am going to see if I can scan this into eBay to see if that comes up with anything. If you don't list on eBay, or if you don't know on eBay, you can actually scan a barcode and see other listings that have sold or currently for sale if there's something else that has, of course, that same barcode. Not all barcodes work though. Um, Loft, for example, for some reason doesn't work. It's just the way that the barcode is. Um, I don't, I'm not an expert on that barcode language. I just know that Loft doesn't work, at least for me. This is Universal Thread. Just kind of a lounge tee. That's probably going to go to buy, sell, trade just because it's the style they typically look for. It's urban behavior. Not sure about this brand. It is broken. Oh, oh no, it's not broken. It just it loops through. Oh, okay, I see. It's tied on this side, so I'm not gonna do it right now, but as I am looking into listing it, I will definitely tie it up. It is kind of like a cold shoulder with different tie details on it. This is Bavlux. It's pretty cute. It's a black button down. All of these um, kind of balls there, those are raised up. So that gives a, a cute little detail. It's got ruffles down the front. The sleeve is kind of um, like paper bag, if you will. I know there's a specific term for that. I will definitely look that up as I am listing because I will definitely be listing that one. This one I thought was Urban Outfitters, but it's, I don't, I can't even read that. It's like Zena, maybe? I don't know. I might have to like Google image that tag. Um, but it's just a black basic top. So I'm definitely going to Google image or Google lens that one to see if I can figure out what that tag is. This one's Champion. A lounge shirt. I'm not mad about the amount of clothes this round that has the size, the um, brand tag, everything on it. In this round, I'm not getting the most amazing stuff, but it's stuff that I can easily list. I don't have to measure all that much. Some of the pieces didn't have the size tag, but I can live with it. It's my last box that there was a lot that didn't have a size tag at all. These are Cypress Club, it has the tag, has the barcode, so I can hopefully scan that in. They are shorts, so I'd say it's more of like a tennis, is kind of what I am thinking, but I'm gonna scan that, see what I come up with. This is Intimately Free by Free People. Their lounge shorts with the drawstring. Probably going to list those. This is LuLaRoe. I feel like LuLaRoe is never ending. We're never gonna get rid of it. People are just gonna keep putting in boxes. Oh, 
that's probably going to buy sell trade interestingly that i have seen a lot of LuLaRoe at my buy sell trade these are seven seven they are like uh jeggings i used to work at lane bryant and we had seven sevens in the store and let me tell you people stole these like crazy like other things in the store we didn't have to worry about putting security tags on but when seven sevens started coming in the store they were seriously like so protective and we had to almost always have an eye on them just because people stole them at such a rate that that was like always on our minds so that's always what I think of when I think of the brand 7-7s, seven or 7-7 seven seven rather. I don't think that these resell for very much, which is interesting that people were so worried about stealing them. Probably going to send those ones to buy, sell, trade. These are Forever 21 leggings. More workout gear for me to list. I'm going to try to list all this stuff right away. There's Artisan New York. They're like hot shorts, jean shorts. going to look those ones up. They didn't feel like they were the highest quality, but you never know. This is a lucky brand. I have an army jacket if you will i didn't see the size tag that's probably why I ended. and up in here the materials tag sometimes there's a size and there is it's a medium I, I doubt you can see that there we go uh, sometimes if i don't see the size tag up here i definitely look in the materials tag these are banana republic sloan these are what i wear for work so i always keep an eye out on them kind of like the express editor pants you know that they're gonna go eventually but they might take absolutely forever to go just because there's like so many different options these feel a little bit more worn so I might actually just give those to a buy sell trade this is Olive and Oak, that's a new to me brand that I'm definitely going to research. I feel like I've heard it in other people's unboxings at, on Front Up, but I don't remember if it was a good or a bad brand. So if I don't remember it, my guess is it wasn't the best brand. This is Petite Sophisticate. I did get a blazer in my last box. It's vintage just a standard blazer it looks very professional it is size zero I'm going to be listing that on my own that i'll probably get between 15 and 25 dollars for and i'm okay with that this is lady carol of new york also feels like it could be Vintage. It has a puff sleeve. Reminds me of the 80s, maybe. I'm definitely going to look that up, but that might end up going to buy, sell, trade just because I'm not sure how much of a market there is on Poshmark for stuff like that. This is Isaac Mizrahi Live. Oh, I'm probably butchering that like crazy. It is a vest cardigan. It's just kind of loungewear to me. Definitely going to look that one up. This is DT Redition. Kind of hard to show because the tag is bent like that. But it is a cropped top. Kind of got some puff sleeve going on it stretches so there's a lot th a lot of things going on it's like more of a velvety feel definitely going to look that one up but that feels like a buy sell trade to me this is banana republic size so extra small it's a black and just basic top in the front in the back it does have that little bit of cutout 
feel like you can wear this at work with a blazer over and nobody would know that there was a little bit of cutout. And then you could take the blazer off at night and have a cute little sexy feel there. Another Kirkland piece, another workout piece for me to list up. These need to be laundered. I don't typically launder pieces unless it there's a lot of hair on it that I know that I just can't get off with a simple um, shaver or a lint roller or it smells a lot. Otherwise, I don't typically take a lot of time to launder what I'm getting just because I'm hoping that people launder their clothes when they get them. I certainly do, especially when I get them on Poshmark or secondhand, even brand new clothes I clean before I wear. This is called Renamed. Definitely something to research. It seems like a little bit of a more mature brand. More workout gear that we have here. This is Athleta. Uh, they're cropped pants. These are size. Hmm, here we go. The size tag is gone, but they are from 2018. That's the issue here. There's no size tag. There we go. This is Harlow and Graham. Very Aztec. Top, I would say it's kind of sheer in the back again something that you could wear to work with a blazer but then you could also take off the blazer and wear at night this is the last piece and it is a shirt what is this what is going on okay I think this is how it goes it's like a cardigan kind of thing, but it has that one button in the front. Or does it go like this? Huh. It's interesting. It's like that on both sides, but it definitely does have like armholes in the back. So it goes like this in some way. I don't know, very interesting. I'm probably just going to take that to buy, sell, trade. It looked like a one size only anyways. I am actually pleasantly surprised with this box. Unless I go through as I'm listing and I see a whole lot of damages, I feel pretty confident that I can definitely make my money back on this and more. Obviously, the goal is and more with this. Um, there were a lot of pieces that had the size on them. There were a lot of workout pieces. If you're interested in seeing what my next box brings me or what these pieces end up going for, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the fact that I have 200 of you already subscribed to my channel. I just can't wrap my mind around the fact that 200 of you appreciate my information and my content so much that you would be coming back for more. So I'm so extremely grateful for that. And I, for real, I really mean that. I will definitely let you know how many pieces ended up being in this particular box as well as the, as the cost of goods and I'll leave that right here for you. Again, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you coming back for more and I can't wait to share even more with you.